Hello there, Lynx here, and welcome to more of Enigma. We are going with Ignis Root. Also, um, in the meantime, I've managed to burn myself a bit. So that's wonderful. Good job, Lynx. Uh, cooking since age of freaking 12 and at 27. You burn yourself for the first time. Good job. Anyway, we are back with this freaking idiot. Freak, freak! They made a freaking fool out of me! It's all his fault! And damn, at such acting like he owns the island, he's gonna pay! I'll kill the freak! Ty? Oi! It's you! I heard you! That's a terrible idea! You're an adult already! You should learn how to behave! Hmm! <clears throat> You know that Colette likes a gentle and kind-hearted man just as well as I do. Shut up! What's so good about wimps like that? Oh, don't you know one cannot be gentle before he's strong first? Especially when it comes down to men. <laughs> you sound like you talk from experience. And how about you teach me what real men are, eh? Ty. You have to calm down and try to look at yourself from an objective point of view. Are you mocking me too? Everyone mocks you, let's face it. <laughs> you should improve your courting, young man. When you act like this, I cannot even tell whether you're trying to woo me. <laughs> you're gonna say you prefer wimps like Chester, what's his way, are ya? Chester? <laughs> well, I think he's quite charming. How about you try to become his friend? He might teach you a thing or two. Are you kidding me? Why would I want one thing to do with that womanish freak? Ty. Leon, I remember you wanted a kid. And Lonnie, since your husband kicked the bucket? And you seem to like that guy. Ty. How about it? I can help you out. Are you insinuating you are going to bring me and Chester together? Yeah, yeah, good idea, don't you think? I'm actually with him. <laughs> well, that's a cute thought, but no thanks. I can match things like this by myself. I can't see you. Uh, sorry. I can only see you ruining it in any case. Then help me out. Keep that guy busy while Colette call call out. I would rather not. I would not wish you the way you are now, on an enemy, much less Colette. You should not think that you can attract one by merely being a man. In any case, I advise you not to do anything foolish. You cannot possibly compare with Chester. You bitch! Alright, I'll prove you here and now. I can entertain a woman better than that crippled freak. Can you not? Cut it out! Oh, like you really care. You're a start for men yourself. It's a good chance you can teach me all about women now. Wow. He's a true freaking virgin here. Like, quite literally. Wait! Let me go! What the f- Huh? 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 The Oh, shut! It was me! You just fell by yourself! Wow. You are so freaking pathetic, man. Uh, uh. Oh, she, oh, she, she's the elder's, elder's granddaughter. Uh, if you find out, I'm done for. I, uh. Huh? Oh, sh oh, sh oh, shit! Even if I her like this, she'll tell everyone about me. What do I do? Don't even, don't even. Right, there was that hole I used to hide in back when I was a kid. If I had her there and covered the exit with a big rock or something. What the f- <sighs> Ty, someone, call Greta. Huh? What the fuck is he doing? Don't hold me against me, Leona. Now if you would have up if you didn't mess with me. Wow, dude, just take her to Greta and it will be fine. 
What? Right, this is your own fault. I hope we can slaughter him. Hmm? The air is great at this hour. It's not fun. I can walk along long distances at this, at this point, but... I wonder if Fiona is taking her walk tonight. I've got to tell her I won't be meeting her for much longer. <sighs> for fuck's sake. What about Genius? Well, I guess he wouldn't be out and about at this hour. It would have been nice if I could have met him one last time at least. <coughs> I can't collapse at a place like this. I'd better hurry on. Hmm? Was that fence always broken like this? I remember it was kind of falling apart, but... Come on! Look! Search! Please! Just... It's wet. Why did someone cover this with sand? Why did it smell like... Search! Please! Blood? It's fresh. Did someone get hurt here? But then why would they try to cover it with sand? Search! That's... Please, find her. I don't remember the rock being here. And where those boards come from? Come on, Chester! Come on! Leona! Leona! Hey! Leona! Oh, for fuck's sake. Please, please, please. Take her to Greta fast! Leona! Was she stopped? There was a broken fence. Did she fall on that? How long has she been here? It couldn't have been that long, but with this much blood loss. Uh, Leona! Chester? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here! Uh, I see. I can't breathe, Chester. And it hurts. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Am I going to die? Uh, it's hot. It's as if I am on fire. Leona! No! Not... Please. I don't want to just lie here waiting to die. I'm scared. It hurts. Le Help. Help. God damn it! Not fair. It seems he got blasted away by the earlier explosion. His lower half is completely gone. He appears to still be breathing. Captain, what are your orders? Is there someone here? Oh, so, uh, I mean, it happened before, right? In previous routes. You basically lose the senses, I would say. He can still speak. You belong to Lysia's army, don't you? Do you remember the name of your battalion? If there's anything you want to tell us, you really... There is someone here, yeah. It's hot. It's as if my arms and legs are on fire. I can't take this anymore. Hmm. Help me, please. Get me out of here. Help. Help me. Help me. Captain, I will... Halt. Don't waste your bullets. But... What's your name? <sighs> Your shell shall return to earth, whilst the light inside you shall rise to the high heavens. Your name shall remain engraved in the history of Lysnia for as long as the country stands. O oh, Father, bless one of your flock with eternal sleep. It's the same situation here. For fucks, it that freaking ass. I hope we can slaughter him. Cut. The sky seems very red tonight. I wonder how long it is till daybreak. Hey, you guys. Yes. 
Do you think God exists? It's an existence even less real than a hero. Copped! If it indeed did exist, I bet right now it would. Be pointing a finger at us all. Laughing. You know, it's quite possible to be honest. It's quite possible that this is happening. Chester. Good evening, Ignis. <laughs> Not her. <laughs> Why did you do this to me? This woman. She called for help. Chester. So I did try. But I didn't know what to do. Her blood was already all clotted up. I... When I was busy thinking what to do, I heard all sorts of voices and... My heart started to hurt. And then... I don't know why. But your face popped up in my mind and I came here. We have to hand her to her family. Leave her here. I shall take care of the rest. You should wash the blood off. I can do it later. I prioritize the well-being of the living. And I couldn't just hand her over without knowing what happened. Oh, I see. You don't need to involve yourself any further. But... It will only bring more trouble. She's dead one way or not. <laughs> God damn it! <sighs> when I finally found... A perfect girl in Enigma. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. There is nothing we can do. Are you cold? The water's almost boiling. No way I can be cold. I suppose you would not. I can wash the blood off by myself. I suppose you can. What is it? You made your hands dirty too now. Does it bother you? A little, a little. My hands have been dirty from the beginning. A bait of blood here and there will not change a thing. It's not come you up that easily, huh? Yeah. I can't even tell you that's the water or your hands that are warm anymore. Me neither. Hmm. I couldn't tell whether it is my hands or yours that have grown cold. Quite a hard huh? Yeah. Quite a hard indeed. Seems like their pasts are, might be quite similar to be honest. I would assume that. What's with the scary look? It's nothing. I won't know if you don't tell. I know, I won't know if you don't tell. Is it stuff you can tell your sis? I just don't want to talk. What? Uh, what? It's nothing. I think it's the first time you said that to me. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kinda in a bad mood. Uh, it's alright, everyone has days like that. I won't bother you any longer, but if you have a problem, don't be afraid to share it with me. Don't tell me he saw everything. If he saw everything, that would be nice. He can tell us, and we can slaughter that freaker. We're a family, right? Yeah. We're a family, huh? Was I ever really a friend to him? That's what's you on about. Yes, you were. Don't worry about it. Here I thought maybe he saw something. Ah. I feel this room has been tidied up since the last time I saw it. How do you feel? 
Oh, good morning. Like always, I suppose. I see. I have something to ca take care of today. I can see, cannot see to your house. We'll be able. Uh, I mean, we'll be all all right on your own. Sure, sure. Um, Ignis, how about Le? What? No, it's nothing. Tomorrow, I will come to the house to pick you up. Pick me up. Okay. Thanks, I guess I'll be seeing you then, Ignis. What's he barking about again? Leona's body is nowhere in sight. I wonder if he moved it. I should be on my way. That was terrible whistle again. It's alright, no problem. No one will ever find out. No one saw me, and no kids would get through the truck even if I found the place. Now I just have to act like nothing's happened. Wait. Yeah, I should make his fault. It his fault. His fault. That way I would get him out of my way, and Colette would be all. But no, I should wait until the sun sets at least. Mother. F Let's slaughter him, please. Ooh, nowhere's around, yeah? Oh, oh, someone will be around. Oh, definitely. I have a feeling maybe Ignis will be there. I'm not scared or anything. Not at all. I just don't want to make a bigger mess of this crap. So I'm being careful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could repair. You could have repaired this mess, possibly, if you would have taken Leona uh, to Greta. Instead of freaking hiding in, in some goddamn hole or whatever. You piece of shit. She's dead, right? She was still... She was still breathing back then, but with that much blood. That fence pierced right through her. If she was still alive, she'd be a freaking monster. What if... What if she's alive? I mean, technically, we don't know how far Ignis's abilities go. I mean, if he can make the puppet... Can he make the same thing with human? We'll see. Damn you, Leona. Why have you made all of this disgusting shit? Yo. Can you not? Can you not? Wow, he's so pathetic, man. I should stop wasting time and carry her to his place already. Just imagining this shit is making me sick. Ugh. Zaza said he was boring Greta's cabin. Huh? The dead rock shift position from yesterday? No way! Maybe I just accidentally shifted myself yesterday. I don't remember anymore. Eh? She's not here? What? Where? No way, did she survive? I'm hardly fit to call anyone else. Come. Eh? But I believe you fit the label better than anyone else. Yes. Slaughter him. Ignis, did you find her here? What are you gonna do? Blackmail me? There is nothing for me to gain from blackmailing you. Scum has no value to begin with. <laughs> well, you should know I didn't kill her. Right. It was you. You killed her. Sorry. Right, it was you. You killed her. The fuck? If the Elder hears it, he will sink to the bottom of the sea. No one will take an outsider's word for mine. You get what you ask for, but if you bow down to me and back, I might save your life at least. But in that case, we'll sing that other bastard in the sea. <laughs> You're going down. Come on, slaughter him. <laughs> what? I take my words back. Huh? Oh, so you're gonna apologize after all? Scum is still preferable to you. At least it has the good sense to be silent. What? A man who had no reason to suffer anymore has been plunged down to pain because of your actions. As I said, I am hardly a paragon of justice. 
And as such, I shouldn't judge you as per the code of law. What are you even talking about? All I shall do is slightly ease my disgust with the taste of your tears and screams. Huh? What'd he do? What the is, is this black smoke? So, get, get off me! Oh boy. <laughs> Freaking hair! Hand! <laughs> get away from. <laughs> what? You must be kidding me! Huh? Go away! Get away from me! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! So please go away! Don't, don't, just keep it. I beg, Leona! He probably fainted. Freaking loser. It appears I have to take my words back again. Your screams only fill me with more disgust. <laughs> Understandable. You can run all the way to the Elder. He shall rescue from the nightmare. Fucking piece of shit. Can we slaughter him for? I really want to. To the house? Yes. I don't mind, but... What about the bed? I can sleep on a chair. Huh? I'm not sure if I want to impose to such an extent. It is just for a few days. It does not matter. I see. Is that why he tidied his room up? <laughs> hmm? I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Have you taken care of whatever you needed to yesterday? Yes. It was nothing significant. Also, I suppose I should tell you. Yeah. I returned Leona to her family. Fam family? She's the granddaughter of the village elder. I don't know whether they were close or not, but... I see. Thank you, Ignis. I've done nothing to be thanked for. Hmm. Right, I should return to the ca this cabin to Greta after I clean up. Just leave it like this. It does not seem like it requires cleaning. Huh? Then I should at least tell her thanks? I will tell her for you. <laughs> Come on! Don't be like that! It's almost as if you are trying to keep us apart. It is Master who said she would rather keep her distance. Huh? What is it? No, no. It was kind of a shocking revelation, you know. Did you want her to come see you off? I know. If Greta was like you, I might have. Hmm. Too bad she did not turn out that way. Yeah. Too bad. I wonder how long it will be until the whole thing is completely colored. You never told me what it is exactly that Enigma consumes to gain that color. What would someone with one foot already in the coffin do with such an information? <laughs> oh my god. I guess I see your point. No, but what, it, what does it consume exactly? Use this bed. You should lie down. Yeah. Can I use this stand? I do not mind. You brought it with you. It's something I received from you after all. Hmm. Ignis. Oh! I have yet to finish the other one. I see. Thanks. <laughs> It looks like a completely different thing half finished. What is this, a mall? I suppose it might look like one. Do you think those birds will be friends or end up with a boss lucky relationship? I don't think that should matter to us. I guess they won't be lonely either way. I'm getting really sleepy. 
I think I'll get some shots I write about. No. Go ahead. Good night, Ignis. Good night. To Enigma? Yes. I can't believe you are still thinking that. I mean, you hadn't forgotten what happened when you all tried. That last, the last time. I thought that you might know. After all, you are Enigma's bride. What? Cut it out. I don't mind if it just reminds you of your past as a chatterbox. But I'm not letting you repeat the same thing again. Why? Why do you even have to ask? We have nothing to lose at this point. That's... Answer. Is there a way, or... If there was, I would have already tried. Chester is beyond the saving point. At least let him die in peace. Let him be consumed in peace, you mean? Uh, you've really returned to your past self, haven't you? Even your sarcasm is back. There is no way. Whatever you do, the result will remain the same. All one could do for him is be by his side, so he doesn't pass away all alone. Ovo, I'm not sure if that's something you'd be capable of. I can get the feeling that uh, a good voice for Nero would be the voice of... Wait, voice of Greta. I just basically revealed whose voice would be good. Voice for Greta, good voice for Greta would be Nero's voice. Uh, I mean, fate extra Nero. Anyway, there was a time when the world was full of dreams. Everyone craved for fame and glory to walk the golden path. All would strive forward in the light, not mind the crimson stains on their hands. But in those days, everyone was like that. We had no grounds for it, yet we believed in a bright future. We fooled ourselves that there was no despair in this world. I wonder why. At this point I cannot even think of a reason. Did I truly believe such a thing? Or did I merely never consider to doubt that a story might not end with a happily ever after? Like a little child. We, we, you see, Chester, in the long past fought ourselves heroes, who'd save mankind from despair, and fill that world with hope. Hmm. How much longer? I have to contain myself. <laughs> I want it so much faster. Why, I wonder why. I wonder how the 28th was, or the 27th, before it, and before the two. My yearly grew stronger ever since I met him. I promised to wait, yet this asked for a seed had been sown within the environment that day, aging to sprout. I can't take this anymore. I cannot wait any longer. Ignis? Yes. Yeah. I'd like to take a walk outside. Can you even get up? I'm fine. I'm not that badly off. Alright. I shall keep you company. Ah, resting. Hmm. What about it? Yeah, I thought I could take it for luck. Even for we'll be coming back in a few minutes. Well, yeah, but... I wonder what I should do. But why, why would you... 
Is there a point in taking it? Would I take that? I wouldn't even thought, think of taking it, to be honest. Don't. Ah. It would be a shame to leave the unfinished one alone. I guess we can leave them to watch over the house. I cannot see them doing a good job at that. <laughs> the forest. I can't feel its eyes on me anymore. I see. That cannot be true. Perhaps he is at the point where he cannot feel it anymore. Ignis! It's nothing. Let's go. Together we go to the forest. There feels so fresh. I can't believe it's filled with miasma or whatever you call it. It is not a thing that can be perceived by human senses. It doesn't affect you. No. Hmm. That's good to hear. Why? Wh why? I mean... <laughs> why are you laughing? I mean, you can be serious. About what? I'm glad. Haha. <laughs> I'm glad you are going to survive. Hmm. But my survival has nothing to do with you. It does. Hmm. In what way? I mean, I've got to leave someone behind. Hmm. Chester. Even heroes grow lonely on their own. What are you? Finally. <laughs> Chester, Chester, Chester! I wish to see you so much! You are... Yes, you indeed possess a hue that twenty knife has no knowledge of. Or have I merely forgotten? The memories up until the 28th are uncertain. I believe this is similar to a relation that humans do possess. Yes, I am elated. What do you want? Chester, the Envirio wants you, Chester. Uh, this happened before. If you kill him now, you waste your color. Be gone, Enigma's puppet. You're a liar. You lie with face so motionless as a doll's. You are the one who made Envirio, but I feel like I've heard those words of yours before. Where was it? Where was it? Can you like not now? It does matter! Chester! And your wish for your color! They told me to wait until the hue is thickest, but I can't con cannot contain myself no longer! Give me your color, Chester! Heaven and earth should be punished, their boon plundered. A fish who shall crack the world, sush soil turning into a blight of desiccation. He knows magic. Perish, doll! Chester, after me! Uh. I heard trying to buy time with this Ignis. <laughs> a spell from a rusty magician can hardly tickle me. It's useless. Muda, 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 right? Ah. Chester! The color of crimson. But this isn't it. I need the color of the car. I can longer just wait for it to come by itself. I need to absorb it all. Why have you... Yes, why on earth have you? Why have you been born like this? 
For this world has ah, for this world has neither gods nor heroes. As such, Enigma has to protect it. Yes, in which case, if it succeeds, Enigma shall be the hero of this world. A hero, protect. Don't mock me. It is humans that need protection. What on earth are protecting, sacrificing living beings for your designs? I don't understand why you're so angry. You consume life to survive and so do we. How is Enigma different from you? That's... Like we care. Ch we all just strive to survive on our own. What? Now do that to tie, please. So in this world where there are neither gods nor heroes, we don't want to be toyed with by forces we don't understand. If you nonetheless want to exist like that, you should hide beyond the light. Chester. <coughs> Your wound. <sighs> I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Where'd you get it gun? I had it hidden in my boots. I made sure to give it proper maintenance over the time I was on the island. <laughs> it is dismantled, so it's perfect for taking on trips. It might be small, but the bullets inside shatter on impact, which makes for some amazing power. Wow. You only need 20 30 seconds to assemble it. <laughs> you would think you decided to have that long conversation with her. You are. My boots are amazing, aren't they? Completely waterproof! You can even drown in the sea! <laughs> I think you're so, so, you should stop talking already, really. What about the doll? That will not be enough to break it. It will start moving after a while. The doll and video will continue moving until it finishes its task. Does it concern my lifespan? I suppose it does not. A few days passed. Laura was here tonight. Although you were sleeping so you could have not noticed. I see. I told him return to the mainland. It did not seem like he believed me, but surprisingly, he returned home in peace. He's a kind-hearted kid. Indeed, unlike myself. <laughs> I wish I could have left something for him. The sky is blue? Yes. I can hear the birds. It is the sign of the morning. Although it might be the two on the stand that are chirping. Oh my, I didn't notice that. Perhaps they are happy because they are not alone anymore. Indeed. The trees are gaining color? No. <sighs> what is it? If it's boring for you, you don't need to go out of your way to keep me company. Who else is there for me to speak to? I guess you've got a point. You are the only one who pays me any attention. But you should start talking more compared to when you ju we just met. The way you are now, you might very well strike a conversation with someone yourself. That's wrong voice, but whatever. Are you serious? I guess I'm not. I thought so. But, to tell the truth. Yes? I feel like you speak even more than me nowadays. I liked speaking in the past. Really? I did not do it consciously, but my words tended to, tear, to carry sarcasms that would upset many people. An unmalicious sarcasm, huh? Perhaps I was looking down others unconsciously. By the way, the magic you showed me the other day. It was the, uh, it was the first time I saw some, anything that powerful. 
but not as, power as powerful as your weapon, right? I don't think I could still do it. It's the power of will, right? Yes, it extends to all things in magic, not only the barrier. I was that kind of specialist in particular. You've got specialists? We do. So, it was really you who erected that barrier then? I bet you know many things that I could hardly dream of. The world is far and wide. The pinnacle of anything is no easy task to attain. Both magic and people are full of things we can hardly dream of. Uh, Ignis? Yes? If you found yourself standing somewhere where you can't see what's ahead, where you can't even tell if there is a path to walk along or an end to reach, what would you do? Hmm. I would not know. But. But? I would want to see what li lies beyond and start pressing forward on my own. Makes sense. Sis, cheer up already! Leave me alone! There's nothing we can do, he left. I bet he only had minutes when the barrier lined in a way she could escape. I mean, Ignis said Jester was frustrated he couldn't tell us goodbye, right? Yeah, but we're talking about Ignis here. I don't want to doubt him, but something doesn't sound right. What does matter if it's a lie anyway? Huh? Lies are necessary too sometimes. What do you mean? Well... Well, I don't really know, but Ignis, you know. He's not a bad guy, I think. I mean... I've heard enough. Um, sis? There's no point wasting time depressed. I'll go ask Greta if she knows anything. Should I go with you? I'll be fine on my own. But... But... Gee, I got my heart broken, okay? So leave me alone for tonight. How dance can you be? How to cry by myself, okay? I I'm sorry. Stupid. Uh... Well, at least you didn't end up like ending 6 and 7. <clears throat> the barrier's completely closed. So I guess 7 was not as terrible as six. Uh, ending 6 of previous route. <sighs> Crazy. I see, so he... Well, that's unfair. Going ahead on all on his own. Really unfair. Chester, if I was the one to be by your side. What? Could it be that this might be happening as well? Would I too have received strength from you? Find out, maybe in one of the future endings. I know, maybe. Slowly, little by little, but without a halt. Ending was miasma consumed me from inside, eventually even taking my ability to move away. And by the time I found myself using all of my strength to merely blink, I remembered the locket necklace. Where'd it go again? I could swear I still had it in the forest, when we fought Enviria. Inside was a picture. I didn't know the reason why it was handed to me. Nonetheless, always had it by my side. It was supposed to be one of my most precious things. Ah. Chester? I moved my finger and squeezed out a groan in reply, asking for a pen and paper. And although my voice must have been incomprehensible to human ears, Ignis understood me. I thought I could still do something. Just as he left something behind for me, so I too wished to leave something for him. I didn't know whether it would prove of any use to him, but I was sure he would appreciate it. As such, it was nothing more than a self-gratification. I'm happy to have had you by my side. Chester. Did I manage to write down? I couldn't even tell that much anymore. Yes. It wasn't bad. 
spending time with you. I found the things I thought I had lost, and now I am finally alive again. Of all thanks to you, I also remembered a few things I would rather have not. Still, all those to the last detail were things returned to me. As such, I shall strive to protect them to the best of my ability. <sighs> Good. It sounds like I managed to write down all right. Just one piece of paper. Nothing but a scrap to wish for your future. And yet, you would still take it as a proof of my existence. He smiled! I finally saw it! Ah, that was. Hmm? That was. Chester. You smiled. Ah, <sighs> yes. Indeed, I did. Oh my god! Man. Why is this game so good? <laughs> It really is good, but man, I'm so pissed they killed my girl. I can't believe this. Well, at least that asshole didn't put hands on her. That's good. Fucking tight piece of shit. I hope, really hope that what Ignis did to him left him traumatized for the entirety of his miserable life. <sighs> Freaking monkey brain. Yes, I'm talking about Ty still, okay? He is. Okay, what's, out th what's after the credits? Sorry for you. I actually slept like three hours today. Crazy. Oh, this room sure has been tidied up since I last saw it. I like keeping things clean originally. I didn't even know that. I never told you. You are not making another doll. No. If you wish for another one, you should make one yourself. <sighs> what is it? Ah, this is so nostalgia, I almost remembered how to be angry. Is that so? That kid, Chester. He was a lot like us, don't you think? I'm not so sure. I would never be able to fake being as accepting of my fate as him. At least no, now that I have regained myself. I'm jealous. At least you had yourself to begin with. Hmm? What is this? A cryptogram of a spell or something? Something like that. Hmm? I don't think there is anyone who'd want to steal your spells around here. Can you really read it? To me it looks more like a trail of a snake or something. I suppose so. It looks that way to me too. Are you making fun of me? No. Good grief. You're really full of surprises lately. I'm not trying to surprise you. Yeah, I know. I'm just getting all surprised by myself. Well, whatever. I'm glad you're doing okay. You've really changed, you know. Hmm. See ya. She didn't he see him smile for. <laughs> Oh, it's his scribbles, right? 
Indeed, I was never a hero. I could not save anyone, and I lost in the end. A powerless, good for nothing wretch. And yet, I don't know why I can tell the words you left for me. I will make the past regained and the future represented me with all my own this time. I shan't hand anything either to the children you adored nor the master, and this is the proof. I shall take a step forward. If I'm not a hero, then I will do all I can. To summon the true heroes that will save us. Actually, that's a good approach with anything. Uh, you know, it's not like someone will solve things for you, even if you struggle, you know. But, you know, struggle for it. Eventually, you will get there, probably. Just don't think I must do it. Just do your best, right? Doing it. Trying to do it. Something like this. How? I don't know how to describe it. Whatever. Your man will protect my heart, and one day it will turn into a power to nurture a hero. And when I make enough memories to write home about, I shall visit you again. I swear. But this letter in my hand. Wait for me, Chester. Achievement unlocked. Legacy. Actually, I don't want know why, but you can... It's because I'm playing in window. It's because I'm recording the window and not the game, right? That you can still see the achievements pop up. Anyway, we've got the first ending for Ignis. So, tomorrow we'll skip a bit probably. Uh... Take the current approach and uh, continue with other endings. Man, I hope we can save Leona. I so hope we can. I need to save my girl. Anyway, for now, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.